Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to Microsoft Project Made Easy. In this discussion today, which is our second discussion on Microsoft Project, we're going to be looking at calendars. I'm going to talk about five different things that you need to know when making calendars in Microsoft Project. If you want a longer version, more detailed and more intricate, you can look in the show notes and I have links to a number of other Microsoft Project uh, videos. I would also suggest you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you'll see as I post new videos and there's a whole library of different related videos, especially in the areas of construction that you can view. But for now, let's take a look at calendars. All right, so if you've created a schedule in Microsoft Project, you need to customize the calendars so that it'll work effectively for you. So the thing you do is you go up to the menu and you see where it says Project. You click on that. You go to Change Working Time. It'd be nice if it just said Calendars, but it doesn't. So you have to go Project, Change Working Time, click on that, and that brings up where you can customize the calendars. And usually when we're talking fairly simple things here, you want to put in things like holidays. And so, you know, in this case, I've already put in, in Canada, we have a holiday that's on the third Monday of February, and that's family days. So the one thing you need to know with calendars is there's two tabs. There's work weeks and there's exceptions. So number one, if you're gonna put a holiday in, you should put it in work, work weeks, uh, sorry, in exceptions. And so family day is there. If you had another holiday that you wanted to put in, let's say that you wanted to put in a holiday like Good Friday. I'm not sure what it is this year, but let's say it's uh, April 9th as an example. I can click on April 9th and I can type in uh, Good Friday as an example. All right, and then once I click in Good Friday, I just click over here and it will put up that holiday and you'll see it hatched and it usually gives you a legend on the side where you can review it and you can see it's hatched. Now, currently you notice that my project is gonna finish on April 15th, uh, 2021. And so if I click OK, because this is before then, it should extend that out uh, by a day. So I'm going to click OK. And you see how it went to April 16th? That's because there's now a holiday in that period. And of course, it lights up the dates that were changed so that you know that what you just did affected these dates. Anything before the 9th, like the 8th, it's not impacting. Anything after that, it's impacting. So I'm going to go back to change working time. That's where we put in exceptions, like I said, and I would put in all of my holidays for the whole project. So another tip, uh, tip number two that you want to make sure of is that you put in all of the days that you don't intend to work. That way, when your project is, you know, as you come up to a holiday, if you didn't put that in as a non-working day, Microsoft Project thinks you're working that day. And so every time you would have a holiday, it's like you've fallen behind schedule. So if you're going to make a mistake in a schedule, it'd be better to have holidays that you actually end up working than ones that you miss. So that's a very important tip to remember. The other thing is work week. So I said there was two tabs. So this would be uh, tip number uh, three would be work weeks. Well, if it's something that's going to affect the, affect the whole project, then that's where I would make the changes in work weeks. So I, see how it says default? Well, if you click to the right here where it says details, that brings up the different days of the week. So Sunday to Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So let's say that you did not work Fridays. Uh, there's a lot of in construction. We have certain trade unions and there's some of them that actually don't uh, work on Friday. So I could put Friday and I could set these specific work days to not uh, to um, non-working time, set days to non-working time. And if I click OK, what that's going to do is that's going to make every Friday in the whole project non-working. So the tip here is don't mess with the work week's default unless you want it for the whole project. So it's mostly the whole project. Deal with exceptions under exceptions. Um, if I just wanted to not work three or four Fridays, then I should just do that under exceptions. So the difference between exceptions and work weeks, work weeks is over a long period and exceptions is over a short period of time. 
The other thing that I wanted to mention, tip number four, is that you can create a new calendar. So I'm going to first of all click OK. This really doesn't take effect till I click OK. So let's make those Fridays non-working. And so of course that affected practically the whole project when I made those Fridays not working. And of course it's going to be making my project take a lot longer to complete. But that's just this example. So I'm going to go back up to my change working time under the project tab and I'm going to create a new calendar. And then it gives me a choice. I'm going to say, let's call this um, electrical sub. And it says, make a copy of the standard. If I make a copy of the standard, it will keep all of these holidays that, I, that I'd saved in it. So unless I want to recreate them, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, but if I don't want to create that, I could go to create new base calendar and that would be I'm just creating that special. But let's make a copy of the standard. And you notice up here it says electrical sub. So now we've just created an extra calendar here. So we've got electrical sub. So I could with this electrical subcontractor calendar here, um, I could put something special like this electrical sub is uh, has an exception that they're not working. Let's make it something that works with this. So. March 17th, uh, March 18th. So let's say that I'm setting this that March 17th. Okay, so electrical sub. So I say non-working. I'm going to say that that electrical sub is not available on uh, March 17th. And so I've just set that now that it's non-working. So I'm going to click OK and nothing's going to happen to my schedule until I assign that calendar to the electrical sub activity. So I can do that by going into uh, double clicking on that actual activity like I did. So I just double clicked. It brings up the task information box. I can go to the advanced tab and I can assign a special calendar called electrical sub. It didn't exist before, but now it does. So if I assign that calendar to the electrical sub, click OK, now that changed my schedule too. That meant that that sub was not available on the 17th, so they're starting on the 18th. And because it was on the critical path, it affected everything. I can see it over here in the indicator column that I've assigned that special calendar to the electrical sub. So that's where that's coming into effect. Now there is a nut that, so that's tip number four. Tip number five, I can go to the resource sheet. And we'll talk about resources in another Microsoft Project Made Simple session. And so we've got here our list of resources. So this is a little bit more advanced. I could also, it won't let me because the electrical sub is under cost here, but if the electrical sub was under um, work, um, what I could do is I could pick the calendar and I could assign it to the resource. So I could actually pick that calendar and assign it to that resource. So every time I assign that resource, it would be using that calendar. But that only works under the work type. So this is sort of giving you something to think about later on when we talk about resources. And if you want more details, as I said, if you go to Microsoft Project, uh, sorry, the Microsoft Project description, you can go into that and you can see the other links that I have to the other schedules. So I'll just go back here to our screen, the Gantt chart, and that's how I switch is just sliding to the left, going to the Gantt chart, and now you can see uh, the overall project listed. So the five tips that we've discussed today, we have looked at change working time, we have looked at exceptions, so that's where we put in those holidays. Uh, and we have looked at work weeks. That is where we make a default change, like not working Fridays. Uh, we looked at the aspect of creating a special calendar. So that's where we can do it for the electrical subcontractor. We looked at applying a special calendar to an activity. So that's where we can do that, uh, where we just double click on the activity and we bring up the task information box 
and then under the advanced tab we can assign a special calendar or we can go into the resource sheet and we can assign a calendar to the resource as long as the resource is of the work type. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, look in the description for the list of other related videos and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming stuff. So this is Tom Stevenson wishing you a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.